Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome to RDTV. Thank you for tuning in today to our brief guide on how to download and install mods for GTR 2, the legendary GT racing game by Simbin Studios. So, first and foremost, navigate your way to racedepartment.com. Across the top of the page you will see a selection of different buttons. You want to press the download button. This will give you access to our comprehensive library of commun community created content from an array of sims within the sim racing genre. But today we're looking at GTR 2. So find the left hand column where it says GTR 2. Click on that and it will open up a subset of folders. Cars, skins, tracks and miscellaneous. On this occasion we're going to check out cars. And here in the middle you will see a whole range of different cars available for the sim. We've got quite a few. So, we're going to pick one at random. We'll pick the Clio Cup 2013. In the middle of the screen, you will see a little bit of information about the mod itself. Let's get rid of that. Usually some credits and some details about the particulars of this mod. At the top, you will see a review, a version history section, and a support forum where you can ask questions directly to the author of the mod itself. So press the big red button. That will ask you what you want to do with it. I like to save my mods to the desktop. In a few moments that will download into a RAR file. So we'll give this a few seconds just to quickly finish off. There we go. You can then open that RAR file up. And it'll present the mod itself. Now what you need to do is just have a quick check of the folder structure. So I need to first and foremost navigate to my GTR2 install which I've got on my mechanical drive. It's under user date, no it's not. It's under Steam Apps, Common, GTR2. So we'll bring that on the other side of the screen. Now if I navigate down one folder level there I can see the GTR2 file which we've got here. If I navig navigate one further section down into the uh, download we see the game data folder. Now if you look at my install folder you'll see a corresponding game data. It is simply a case of drag and drop into the main GTR2 folder. It may or may not ask you to replace some files and there you go you're installed. So just to double check if we go down another level and download, we've got a Teams and a Sounds folder. If I look in the Teams, I'll see the Clio Cup 2013. If we look at our corresponding file structure within GTR2, Game Data, Teams, Clio Cup 2013. So we know that's installed, that's ready to go. When we fire the game next up next, we will see the Clio Cup cars available to use. Once you've been into the mod, you've tried it, tested it and got some impressions, please don't forget to rate this resource terrible, poor, average, good or excellent. Click on that rating and you can leave some free text feedback here that will be publicly available for all to see and everybody can use that. This is not particularly helpful because it's not in English. We're an English speaking forum here at Race Department so that is the common language across the forum. But this will give some people some idea about whether this is a worthwhile mod to download or not. And there you go folks, that's how you download mods for GTR 2. Just to clarify, I'll back out a little bit. The same principle that we applied for this mod applies throughout. So although this is a car, it's a game data, then into the team subfolder, you've also got game data, locations, and that's where the tracks are also stored within GTR2. So it may be a case if you've downloaded a track to go to game data and the locations folder and pull that into the relevant spot within your install. Okay, there you go. That's been a guide to downloading and installing cars for GTR2. Hope you found it useful. Till next time, goodbye.